Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today we are going to be reading some more rules horror stories. As you might I had remember, last time I completely um, bit off more than I could chew. Today we only have a small selection of stories, those from um, last time that I couldn't read because, I, it, because the video was already too long, and just a few extras that I happened to find while I was scrolling through the subreddit. If you like this video, please hit like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to ring that bell oh, icon. Now let's get right into this. Starting, of course, with the workout. Because I like to go from left to right with my tabs. Now let's get right into character. Do you feel as if something is missing? Do you feel like your life lacks direction? That your ambitions have led you so far astray from your purpose that you don't really know who or what you are supposed to be anymore? I felt like that once, and too. So I did something about it. I displayed myself, committed to a specific sequence of actions, and found that my problems we're not so big anymore. What I undertook might help you out. If you are afflicted with the above, of, but I shall warn you now. This is far from easy. Failure to heed my instructions to the letter will result in a most unfortunate outcome for you. If this does not sound palatable, simply disregard the remainder of this letter and continue with your life as you were. If, however, you're intrigued or desperate enough to continue, I shall outline how you can correctly correct Oh, I shall outline how you can correct the course of your life for the better with a simple workout. To start, you will need a timekeeping device, analog is preferable, a shaker of salt, enough to create an unbroken circle, a single pill or, or candle. The color of the candle is broadly unimportant, however, under no circumstances should you use a red candle. And it's a portable method of lighting it, such as matches, a sheet of paper, ideally of A4 size, and a writing implement, such as a pen. The location of this undertaking is vitally important. You must begin in a building that has been abandoned for a period of at least 9 months. Thus, results are achieved in a building that lies abandoned and for at least 10 years, but the four will also suffice. The location of the building is important, for reasons that will be made apparent later. Do not, and I mean do not, attempt to perform this in an open area, not in a building. The time at which you perform a you attempt this workout is also of vital importance. It must occur on a night of, of a new moon, the final new moon of the year to be precise. To attempt it at any other time will result in failure. Failure not without consequence. To begin, walk to the building in which you intend to complete your workout. I do mean walk there. Do not travel using any form of vehicle or, or transport, public or personal. Once you have reached the premises, oh, these are rules. Two, once you have reached the premises, enter the building. Locate a room without windows. No natural light must enter the space in which you are to perform this workout. So lock the underside of the door, in and out of the room if you must. The precise time of day is not important, but it must be after sunset and before 3 a.m. Do not attempt to us this out with this range of time. Additionally, make sure that no sources of natural phenomena, i.e. wind, are able to enter the space. Believe me when I say, you do not want so much as a tiny draught disturbing the process. 3. Set up the space as, follow as follows. Stand in the middle of the a room, or your best approximation of it. Place a pillar candle around 6 feet in front of you. Do not light it yet. Take your paper and writing implement. Write the words, I wish to regain what was lost. Place a sheet of paper on the ground on the other side of the candle, six feet from it. 
Prick your finger and allow a single drop of blood to splash on the paper, and no more. Allow a second drop of blood to splash on the wick, but no more, so as not to make the candle unable to be lit. If you cannot light the candle, immediately stop what you are doing, gather up your supplies, and return home. You have to wait until the last new moon of the following year to try again, I'm afraid. Once you have lit the candle, immediately surround yourself with an un- Broken oval or circle of salt, when large enough to feasibly carry out your workout in. Do not leave the circle until the process is complete, no matter what you may perceive. Once the salt circle is complete, stare at the candle flame unblinking. Repeat in your mind the words, I wish to find my path. Keep repeating them. Keep your attention focused on the candle. It will start to flicker. This is fine. It indicates that things are proceeding correctly. After five minutes, the candle remains completely still. Do not pre If after five minutes, the candle remains completely still, do not proceed. Gather up your supplies and try again the following year. Six, keep repeating the aforementioned phrase. The flame will continue to flicker. As it flickers, the urge to break your gaze and look around the room will intensify and eventually it will become unbearable. But you must resist. To fall at this stage would be most unfortunate for you. The flickering will become increasingly more frenzied, but you must hold fast. Eventually, the flame will flicker so chaotically it will go out, leaving the room in total darkness. 7. At this stage, you will think that you have done something wrong, that this prior process has in some way been interrupted. You may think that looking around the room will help. It will not. Keep your eyes exactly as they were. Do not look away from your present position. After another or five minutes, the candle will rely itself. At this point, you may break your gaze from the candle. And you should immediately observe that you are not alone in the, this room anymore. You will sense the, a presence across the room from you. Where you placed this sheet of paper previously. You will also observe a region of darkness, not illuminated in the same manner as the rest of the room by the candle. In that exact place, if you locate a presence anywhere or else in the room, I don't know exactly there, do not proceed. Lightly apologize to the presence and return your gaze to the candle. Once you can see and say there is nothing else with you, I remain inside that salt ring until sunrise. The candle will not go out, but do not leave the salt ring under any circumstances. It is not safe. When you have located the presence, speak out loud the words, Please show me the way. The candle will flicker once to show that the presence has accepted your request. If the candle remains still, speak out loud your request as many times as it takes. For the candle to flicker once, do not proceed if the candle flickers more than once. Repeat the apology steps in step 8. Before you begin, set your timekeeping device to a total of 25 minutes, not a second more or less. Once you have set the timer, the true process will begin. So take a moment to ready yourself. Once the time has begun, ready yourself to perform the following physical exercises in order. Jumping jack, bicycle kick, each leg, press up, squat, one leg squat, mountain climber, a bottle crunch, leg rise, dorsal rise, lunge. You must perform each exercise in order. Return to the first exercise to start the next set. You will continue this for a total of nine full sets of exercise. Each successive set increases the number of repetitions of each exercise you have to make by one. That means that by the ninth set, you will be you're forming a nine repetitions of each exercise. The presence as, as will not move, nor make a sound as you do this. But do not mistake its inactivity for an inattention. It will be observing silently, patiently. When this, while well, this routine sounds entirely reasonable, especially if you happen to be athletically fit and in shape, you must maintain perfect form of each exercise as you perform them throughout the entire process. Should you falter in form through an exercise, you will know by a large deep gash at least 5 inches long that will appear down your or back. 
It will hurt a lot, but you must keep going, and for the love of all that is good, correct your form. When this happens, you will know its presence move closer to the candle. A foot closer, er, to be precise. <sighs> With every slip-up, you will be dealt an additional gash. With the six gashes forming an almost tally mark, the first instant will move of one foot closer, and a low growling sound will, be, will also become audible, growling louder with every infraction. Let me put it in very plain and uncertain terms that you do not want to have any more than four slip-ups. If a fifth slip-up happens, you have angered your correspondent. The candle will, will, immediately, will instantly extinguish, and may God help you. You will observe that with each excessive set, your body will feel heavier, as if something is pressing down on upon you. This feeling will increase ex exponentially as you progress, but if it's that you will be under a considerable physical stress. By the end of the seventh step, you will be struggling inconsiderably to hold your body up. On the ninth and final set, your body will feel like it is about to give out on you. You will feel as if the very weight of the world is on top of you, crushing every square inch of your being. You will be sweating profusely, veins bulging out of your skin, face scented red, almost purple. Tears will stream from your eyes under the stress of, of your present undertaking. You will feel as if your muscles are tearing, your leg is being shredded by the oppressive force that's evenly threatened to destroy all that you are, and ever will be. You will feel utterly lost, completely helpless. You will want to submit. You will want to give up. You will almost be willing to give anything for this ordeal to end. But you must resist. You must remember that this feeling is only temporary. And it too shall pass. Once you pass, you must not relent. No matter the pain, no matter the stress, no matter how the odds feel stacked against you. You must push through it all. You must triumph. You must prevail. To falter at this stage, to allow the process to get the better of you, would be the most unfortunate and possible outcome you could possibly achieve. Should you endure, or should your physical mental and mental fortitude prove sufficient and to resist, you will know, as once you have completed the workout, your body will feel weightless, as if a void against the weight of all life that brings it. You must stop the analog timer and turn to face the presence. You must then bow and thank the presence for helping to show you the way. The cons of this thank you will be up to you, but keep it polite and respectful. You wouldn't want to anger your correspondent at this stage. Trust me. Once you have given thanks, focus your gaze onto the candle again. Stare at it, repeating the words, I have seen the way, until it flickers and eventually goes out. Continue staring at it and ignore all that you might perceive in your per a refuel. Once the candle relights, the presence will be gone and you will be free to step outside the salt circle. Gather up everything that you use in the process and return home. You must now sleep. For how long is not important. Just ensure that your body and mind receive adequate rest. After what they have just been put through. When you awake, you will feel more relaxed than you ever have at any point in your life, and your head will be completely clear. At this point, you should keep an eye out. Opportunities will begin to present themselves to you, and should you take advantage of them, accept them completely without asking, you will find that the quality of your life will surely take a turn for the better. You will succeed in all that you set out to achieve, and your body, while still physically the same, will be incredibly resistant to all the ravages of disease and misfortunes of physical injury. Your life will finally feel complete, on the right path, and you will ha have all that you thought was missing. This should really be the end here. These gifts aren't just bestowed upon anybody. You might feel like everything in life has become beautifully simple. Some theories point to you having done all the heavy lifting in your life when you attempted the process, so to speak. But these are mere sentiments. You have more to improve yourself. Now enjoy the best of all that life has to offer. Congratulations. 
I should include a small number of additional notes. You should have ended at at the previous it is one, honestly. For all to be remiss if I did not, once the process has been successfully completed, you may never attempt it again. Or you have no need to, right? You might, in the days following workout, send something nearby. You might swallow a shadow in your peripheral, or that upon turning face directly disappears. Do not worry, this is normal. The present occasionally sticks around for a short time after the process, and it will usually fade from view after a few days. You may wake up in the middle of your sleep during the night and notice it in the corner of your room. Do not panic and do not look at it for too long. I would advise that you do not look switch your lights on during this time, as you may risk anchoring it, and all of your work will live in for naught. Simply look anywhere around your room, keeping track of it in your peripheral field of vision, and after a few minutes, it will disappear. While you dream, you may catch a glimpse of it in there. Do not let on that you saw it. And do not in any way interact with it. This is a surefire indicator that it will be on your room should you wake. And my last piece of advice is never, and I mean never, return to the location in which you performed the workout. Ever. Everyone who has, has never returned. I have a small number of seemingly anecdotal accounts of other participants who, upon completion, during the closing process of starting a claim, have no several per instances of fear around them. All into fade when the candle relit. Those individuals have experienced this, all went missing under a, a number of days later, with seemingly no trace of them ever having existed on Earth. If I didn't know any better, I'd wager that they had been selected or perhaps a better term is recruited for something. In any case, if you feel that your life is missing something, I am sure that you will be able to work it out. My goodness. That was way longer than I was expecting. And actually way more uninteresting than I was expecting too. <sighs> Who knows, maybe I'm just a little bit too used to demon rituals, and I don't really think they really fit with rules horror. Ah, oh, thank goodness. My sketchy hotel's strange rules. As you may already know, we fly attendants sometimes. I'm sad to sleep in hotel rooms, even though that might seem like a dream come true since saying there is paid up by the airline companies and looks like free travel. We sometimes can get stuck uh, having to stay the night at sketchy and unsafe hotels. Whether there are hidden cameras somewhere in the room, or creeps looking around. Or like the hotel my calling and I are in right now, which has a list of these bizarre rules that we apparently had to follow. Here are the rules. One, all doors must be locked at all times. Only a lock them when you actually have to go through them. That includes the bathroom door, too. Especially the bathroom door. 2. Go to bed no later than 9 p.m. Oh, that's a struggle for me. 3. If you're an animal outside, especially a dog, do not open the door. The animal might sound like it's whining in pain. That is not an animal. There are no animals around here. 4. If someone knocks on your door, Unless you had advice of it from before, and you are sure who that is, who that is, do not open the door. They might even look and have the same voice as the relative. This is not who you think it is. We are sure we do not need to tell you who or what is hiding behind that door. 5. When you go to the bathroom for a long period of time, leave the door open. You will not have time to escape if it appears to be there. Six, if you wish to leave earlier than and intended, just go. We do not care about your experience, just go. Seven, we do not allow for two people to stay in the same room. If there is somebody else in your room right now, leave the area immediately. This is not whoever they may appear. Yes, 
they can create false memories. 8. If while you are sleeping you get the feeling that you are being watched, that's probably because you are. Do not open your eyes. If you do open them by accident, my see silhouette of a man with, uh, who's only huge grin and white teeth will be invisible in the dark. Will your eyes immediately try to fall asleep? He just wants to watch. When you wake up in the morning, if you see bruises on your body, that means you are welcome to spend the night there again. It means they liked you. If not, leave. Otherwise, you might not wake up after the night you go to bed again. They might not even find your body. 10. Why do you eat food out only outside? We do not have a vending machine or a kitchen. If you see one of those two, you are in trouble. 11. Always keep the curtains and cl blinds closed. There is a view for you to see through the windows. If you want a view so badly, then you should have gone to another place. 12. If you follow the rule 11 and the blinds and the curtains are not closed, close them again. If you see a masked man and a clown through the window staring at you, go to the bathroom and lock the door. Pray that he does not come inside. No police can enjoy can save you. We hope you enjoy your stay. I should probably burn this before she reads it. Oh dear. That's a bad idea. Anyway. Okay, how about you go to what's actually next instead of just going to wherever you want? Paradise Island. Sounds cozy. I'm gonna just check how long it is. It's not that incredibly long. Welcome to Paradise Island and Resort. We really hope you enjoy your stay. Our private resort is situated in a lush archipelago, all covered in fire and sand, dense jungle, and unique rock formations. At Paradise Island Resort, we strive to provide a wide range of amenities and activities to ensure that our guests have a truly memorable and enjoyable stay. We're situated in an area where storms and tropical clones often occur, so we have provided a set of rules for you to follow to ensure that you have an amazing time with us. One, we have a tropical depression warning system in place. If you have ever heard a loud crackling siren, it is our tropical depression warning system. There is a storm forming nearby at our resort and is advised to either go back to your cabin or go to your nearest storm shelter. These shelters are marked on your map. If the siren does not crackle or, and or is extremely high pitched, please cover your ears, return to your cabin, and contact a member of staff. They will take care of this anomaly very soon. 2. Only enter a storm shelter if it is on your map. If you see a storm shelter that is not on your map and has a red door, go to another one that is on the map or return to your cavern. After this, contact a member of staff and inform them of the anomaly's location. We will take care of it shortly. If the shelter looks unusually decrepit and has a purple door, be sure that the path doesn't have any tree roots or moss on it. Then run and do not look back. They probably haven't had a meal in ages, and once they capture you, your family may never be seen they never see you again. Three, if the announcement system turns on announcing an unusually strong Cyclone, follow this set of, war of rules. 3a. If you are in, the ca in your cabin, close all doors and windows and return to the restroom. Fill the bathtub with water and then enter the closet. After 5 minutes, if the announcement does not stop, exit your cabin as quickly as possible to your nearest dock and enter the boat. Don't worry about yourself, we'll send back to you. The strong winds will definitely anger them and after the storm ends, they will be extra hungry. You don't want to end up as their meal. 3b. 
If you are not currently in your cabin, do not try to return back. Instead, look on your map and go to the nearest storm shelter. Then talk to one of the employees. And they should put your name down to mark your safety. 4. If you ever see a janitor wearing a blue a baseball hat, his name is Joe. Be sure to get on his good side because he pilots all of our emergency belts from the island. If he doesn't like you, he has the right to kick you off the belt at any time. So if you see him, be sure to say hi. 5. If you ever see a number of staff wearing a garment on any parts of their bodies, they are blown here by the wind. Ignore them at all costs. They cannot touch you, but if you're you here and touch rustling to the bushes, run fast. They will use the tree roots. Don't trip. Joe will help rip the roots off the path afterwards. So if you see him, make sure to report the location of the anomaly. We also have a set of rules from our dining hall. The food here is exceptional, but it is not prepared by humans. But unless you don't follow these rules, you should be okay. 1. If you order the food that you were delivered, you can tell one of the servers. Do not eat the food, otherwise you're going to end up vomiting. 2. If you eat any foods and you immediately start vomiting, contact a staff member and catch the next boat leaving the island. They either send the wrong order or the cooks don't like you, but either way, you'll probably end up attracting them. The next day, you'll wake up in a straight jacket witnessing your family's death. 3. Don't look up. The ceiling might drip blood on you. Don't worry about it and just wipe it off. If you get annoyed by the constant dripping, ask switch seats and it should stop. If it drips in your food and you eat it, you will immediately start vomiting as you've seen from the previous rules. You should probably go. We hope you have an amazing time on Paradise Island Resort. If you have any questions, feel free to call the front desk at plus 00177 with any phone. Have a nice day. Hmm. Now we have three stories that we didn't get to read yesterday and one that's a continuation of one of the three stories that I found just today. Console rules. One, the whispering voice if you hear a faint whispered voice coming from your gaming headset, respond with a whispered, I'm listening. Be cautious with what the voice requests. Two, the phantom controller. If your controller starts vibrating inexplicably, do not let go of it. Grip it tightly until the vibrations stop. Losing your grip may have dire consequences. 3. The, crypto mes the cryptic messages. If in game characters start delivering cryptic messages or warnings that seem out of context, write them down immediately. These messages may hold clues to your survival. 4. The frozen screen. If your game suddenly freezes and displays a single word in an unfamiliar language, Repeat the word three times in a hushed tone. This might unfreeze the game, but proceed with caution afterward. 5. The time loop. If you find yourself playing the same section of the game repeatedly without explanation, follow a different path each time. Breaking a loop is your only way out. 6. The spirit. If you feel an icy chill on the back of your neck or a sudden drop in temperature in your gaming room, do not look behind you. Finish current level as fast as possible and exit the game. 7. The Haunted Save File If you notice a new save file with your real name, avoid, looking, avoid loading it at all costs. Delete immediately or it may haunt your gaming experience. 8. The Inventory Sacrifice if you encounter a choice between sacrificing a viable in-game item or your character's health, or choose the item. Sacrificing your, your character may have dire consequences beyond the game. 9. The Glitch Reflection If you catch a glimpse of movement in your screen's reflection that doesn't match your surroundings, pretend not to notice and continue playing. Do not investigate. 10. 
the dead silence. If all sound in the game suddenly go, goes mute, unplug your headset and listen closely to your surroundings for any subtle, out of place noises. Your safety may depend on it. How long is this? Okay, it's not that long, which is good for a story that is supposed to be read in an emergency. Anyway. You are in danger. You must act quickly to survive. Emergency alert! Received less than one minute ago. This is a, a, a message from the National Bear Error of a Civilian Safety sent to all individuals within the 40 kilometer radius from the Utrecht and Sea a, a Parapsychology and Environmental Research Institute. A severe non disclosed failure has taken place in this facility, which compromises the safety of all citizens nearby. If you are reading this message, you are in danger. You must act quickly to survive. The, message, the estimated time you have to protect yourself is 7 minutes and 32 seconds. It is too late to leave. Your best chance of survival depends on the strict compliance with the, with the East rules. Act swiftly and orderly. Read this advisory message while you start preparing yourself and your loved ones. If you are at home, go to section A. If you are in a public building, please follow the instructions you will be given by the pertinent authorities. If you are outdoors, go to section B. If the estimated time according to your current location is less than 5 minutes, I don't know what that means. Go to section C. We're going to be reading all of these. Section A. What you should do. Try to collect a large amount of tap water you can and, and while the water supply still holds. Gather as much supplies as you are able. Only if you're sure that you'll be able to come back to your residence before the countdown and stops. Silence will be your friend for the following days. All noise above of 30 decibels. Whispering or rustle of leaves must be actively avoided. Animal Welfare and Protection Act 2017 has been revoked until further notice. Pets and other animals that cannot be granted to remain island may be euthanized if required. Close all doors and windows. Do not let light from the inside I leak outside. Nevertheless, avoid dark corners in your house. If room cannot be properly lighted, the room must be sealed. It is vital to remember the number and position of all windows in your house. In the event of an unknown window appearing, but there was none, leave your house immediately. Mirrors must be covered or destroyed if necessary. Kind of wanted that anyway. Okay, there are two they avoid base vents or any space below surface level and rooms without windows, only with one door. It's easier for them to trap you there. Time may flow strangely during the following days. Keep yourself oriented with an analog clock. Do not trust electronic electronic devices. The closer they are, the slower time will go. Remember to be as quiet as you, you can. If all clocks stop suddenly, leave your house immediately. If you see them, they can see you. If they have spotted you, go to section C. This these measures will remain in place until further notice by the NBCS. Do not trust anyone or anything encouraging you to leave your house until an official statement by the NBCS. In your likely event of being forced to evacuate your house, go to Section B. Section B, what you should do. If you are able to return home or seek shelter in a public building for relative or friend of in this house, do it before the countdown stops. If not, you ought to look for designated level 1 shelters in your area on our website. Do not trust sudden hospitality from tall strangers. Under no circumstances should you go into a level 1 shelter if it is not marked with a double or green diamond. That is not a shelter. In the unlikely event of being outside without shelters nearby, once the lockdown takes place, go to section C. 
What you should do? First of all, keep calm. Do not act briskly. Remember the golden rule. Be quiet. Unfortunately, there's a thing you can do. They are here. There's nothing you can do. It will be painless. There's nothing you can do. They are here. There's nothing you can do. I can see you. I am here. Let me in. There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh dear. Also, is the okay? I had that request error earlier. I just check. Oh no. The story disappeared. Okay, yeah, it's still working. Let's go to the final two stories. Crystal Bay Aquarium parts one and two. Gonna just do a bit of um, length vetting so I know how, what to expect. It's not too bad. We can do this. Welcome to Crystal Bay Aquarium! Hi there! Welcome to Crystal Bay Aquarium! We're, we're so excited to have you on board as one of our newest members. It's been a while since we had someone join our team. And cause for ocean con conservation. So to help you out, we have created a list of guidelines to follow. There's more to come, but the first days usually the hardest. There will be three floors of the aquarium. Ocean tides, below the surface, and deep exploration. They each have their own guidelines, so please listen carefully. General Guidelines 1. The aquarium is open 10 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Guests may stay a little or later to browse the merchandise, but all must leave by 7 a.m. sharp. No, I mean 7 p.m. sharp. Sorry. The aquatic animals get quite impatient and cranky when dinner is delayed. 2. All floors have three emergency exits. These exits are to be unlocked at all times. Test them by using your keycard. The scanner on the right should tell you oh, anything abnormal. If they are found abnormal, report to the nearest supervisor immediately. Failure to comply may cause sudden termination. I'm guessing they don't mean firing, though. 3. Guests are to be behind the tank railing at all times. Any guests found on breaking safety protocols shall be ejected from the aquarium, and the entire area must be inspected by maintenance personnel. Now this is for general guidelines of the aquarium. They sound harsh, but I promise these are, are for both the guests and personnel safety. Now to guidelines for each level. You'll be working your way down from each floor, so please pay attention and keep up. However, because this is your first day, you'll be on the Ocean Tides floor. Read the following guide and have a safe shift. Ocean Tides 1. Make sure all emergency exits are normal and working. Be sure to head to the back of the clock to the back closet and grab some food to prepare for feeding time. The birds get particularly picky at times, but their favorite it should always be on the third shelf on the very left. There is no light in there, so please remember to bring your phone as a flashlight. However, make sure it's not too bright. Blinding lights can make them ag agitated. 1A. If their favorite food isn't on the shelf, but instead on the floor, let your supervisor know that the bird's food has been tampered with. They will understand make sure the birds are fed properly. Make sure the door is locked before you leave. 1B. If it is on another shelf, do not reach for it. The birds have been fed. 2. Walk around every exhibit and examine in the glass tanks. If any cracks appear, do not worry. They are designed to crack every now and then. Contact maintenance personnel. 3. The crabs love hiding. Feel free to play peekaboo with them every now and again. They love to play and make excellent friends. 4. Remember to stay behind the railings, uh, even as aquarium personnel. The only ones allowed to bypass this are supervisors and maintenance personnel only. And recall breaking this shall be terminated. 5. Do not enter the door with at the sign of stairs on it. It is not real. It will appear from the hours of 2 p.m. to 3.36 p.m. Under no circumstances should you ever open it. Guests cannot see it, so do not raise any alarm. 5a. 
If the car sleep gets better, you can only pray for your safe journey home. We will wait for Warren to come back. The birds miss him dearly. I mean, we still wait for Warren. By B, if you resist, may hear screaming and pounding. The door may a rumble and bend. We continue to walk away and ignore it. It will disappear soon. Six, the touch pools should be monitored at all times. If you're on touch pool duty, troll intend to poke and prod the animals. Should not to properly touch them and put the animals back. Each one found to be disobeying these rules shall remove from the touch pool area. Do not hesitate to call proper to contact proper personnel for removal. Six A, if the child Oh, is alone. Do not contact person now unless a parent or guardian has located. If none can be found, contact authorities and send personnel to the central public exhibit for inspection and retrieval. These aren't becoming too hard to follow, are they? These aren't set in stone rules, as it always seems. The aquarium evolves with the times. So be sure to listen to your seniors as you work with them. It could save you a lot of trouble. Have a good first day, management. Part 2. Let's see how long this is going to be. Oh, these are perfect at length. Welcome to Crystal Bay Aquarium 2. Good morning! By reading this letter, we extend a very special congratulations to the management team. It means you have just survived your first several shifts and can listen to basic directions without question. Many of our new employees aren't employed for quite a this long for a myriad of reasons, but that is neither here nor there. You're here now, so today you will be moved down a level into below the surface. This floor will be much, much bigger and far dimmer than ocean tides. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled, though. If you're unlucky, you might not have a choice. And pay attention to your surroundings. Darkness can play tricks on your mind, so it'll be up to you to determine what is reality and what isn't. Are you ready? All general rules still apply. If you need a refresher, please refer back to your first letter. No shame in getting a little uh, extra help. Mm, excuse me. Also, please be sure to read every guideline before beginning your shift. It is crucial to your work. Now, on to the next level, below the surface. 1. After doing your daily inspections as usual, be sure to double check the light settings in the maintenance room. You are not tampered with the lights at this time. Make sure each slider is in its proper plate and is marked by a freshly painted line. 1a. If it seems that sliders are not in their proper place, you are giving permission to the slide all switches down to make sure that it isn't too bright for the animals. They will be okay in the dark. 1B. Before you turn off the lights, please assess your surroundings to keep your eyes on the stairs you descended from as you do this. You will need to run as soon as all the lights are turned off, and there is no guarantee that the lights from the stairs will be either once you look away. 1C. Run as fast as you can. They can match your speed, but don't but need time. Don't give it to them. 1D. Remember to contact Mason and first know and inform them of all of your findings. They will understand and fix the lights. There are no circumstances should you ever descend the stairs until the lights are returned to their normal state. They and then its personnel are trained for these tasks and will never ask for your assistance. Two. Once we officially open, the first person you will meet is Nancy. She is a lovely, irregular visitor and loves to chat with. Feel free to introduce yourself and strike a short conversation. She will watch over you as you work. To be, if you don't strike a conversation with Nancy, that's all right. She will understand and keep her distance, though she might not show up as much anymore, which can make your work a little more stressful. Perhaps you will work better that way. Three. Be sure to walk around and keep tabs on the various fish in the tanks, and pay extra attention to those in the kelp forest exhibit. Fish aren't the only things that love to hide between the kelp. If you are asked what is in the kelp, simply say it is just our groupers resting. 3b. 
I'm guessing it's okay. The pitch is good fed by scuba divers every two hours. Assist our divers backstage with everything they need to do the feeding. It will be your job to make sure nothing and no one is missing by the end. There are usually no complications as long as feedings are all on time. 4. While standing by the roof exhibits, be sure not to stare too long at all the bright colors in fish. They're meant to distract you. For A. If a child goes missing in the roof exhibits, contact all security personnel immediately. You are to take parents and guardians backstage to the security room and make sure and make your way to the kelp forest. 4B. Working quickly work quickly and spot anything out of the order in the kelp. Do not hesitate to contact our divers for another feeding time. 4C. If nothing can be spotted or found, do not panic. Repeat report all findings to your nearest supervisor and do not raise alarm. There's nothing you could have done. They, they don't always like what we give them. 5. If you have made friends with our crabs, feel free to leave the floor for no more than 15 minutes to talk to them. They are very kind and will help you in ways we can't understand. But they mean no harm. 6. Remember that things can be different in the dark. Use to your advantage. Let them think you're tired and hallucinating. Don't let them know you're keeping tabs on them. That about does it for this floor. It's more complicated, but you fall oh everything to a T, you should be fine. We wonder if you who here if we thought you couldn't handle it. Keep up the good work. Also, don't speak about them until you're outside the aquarium. They can't tear you off off the property. Don't, and we mean don't ask who they are. They're different for everyone. You'll just know. Have a safe shift, management. And that was Rules Horror. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now I officially have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!